such a good finalist and to, uh, to rope the way you guys did through 10 rounds? You know, and we come in kind of towards the bottom, and, and we come in here and, and just rope aggressive and try to be as consistent as we can. And then as it started getting, you know, as the rodeo started going, it was like, gosh, how many steers are they going to make us rope here? Because then we started having a really good chance. So, But we never backed off. We kept going at them, and, and it turned out, it worked out for us. What's, uh, what? Tell us a little bit about some of the, the summertime issues that you guys had that you kind of had to overcome. and just Kind of what your dad talked about on the stage the other night. Yes, sir. We had a hard time this summer. Uh, my my head horse Vegas, he got sick and uh, and he was the head horse of the year last year. And when you take a good horse away from a guy, and I don't care how good you rope or whatever, man, it hurts you. And uh, so I had to do without him from about after Cheyenne on. And then my mother-in-law got real sick and, and she got cancer and and Molly struggled with that. And so. Uh, you know, gosh, we were back and forth, and we had a baby, and that was a blessing. I'm not saying that, but we had all this stuff mixed up going on and wondering what we're going to do, and we just had a thousand things going, and, man, it couldn't have ended up any better, and I just hope my mother-in-law's better, and I hope my horse gets better. Good. Tell me, uh, tell me about what it's like to rope with Jet uh, and to win your first world title with him. Oh, it's amazing, because Jet and I have been friends for a long time. He was in my wedding, and... and uh, I tell you what, he's been a very special friend of mine, and to win it with him, it's even it's even better.